Hello makers, it's Chloe from Minerva. Today we're going to learn how to do some more uh, embroidery stitches, moving on from basic outline stitches, filling in stitches, to now some more specialist ones that you might pick out in particular areas of your designs. Really, once you know how to do the stitches, the way to get better at them is just to practice them. Um, the more you do them, the more you'll understand the tension and the twist of the yarn, and you'll be able to get smoother finishes the more that you do. The first stitch that I'm going to show you is a French knot. You can get two styles, quite a small knotty one, and you can get a sort of coiled one. There's two different ways to do it. So the first one is this knotty one over here. You take the yarn from back to front, and then you're going to just get onto your needle a couple of threads from the fabric. So you're just nipping your needle into the threads and then you're going to wrap the thread around three times. One, two, three. And then when you pull your thread through, you're going to have to do it quite slowly just to let it all coil up. And then push your needle back through from front to back. And that will give you a tiny little knot. The second way you can do it, or you might try if the other way hasn't worked for you so well, is, or it keeps getting knotted, is to take a tiny bit of the weave again of the fabric. But this time, you're just going to wrap your threads around the top half of the needle. And then you need to really pull that quite slowly so that it all coils up. And then pull your needle back through. The more you do, the more you'll get a sort of rosy sort of curl. Depending on how many threads you use, I'm using um, three, three threads here. But if you try it with um, more of the threads from the skein, you'll get an even thicker one. So you can try four. But then you've got to try and draw them all down. But you get a diff slightly different shaped French knot. So that's French knots. If you enjoy doing French knots, then you can bunch them together and gather them together and you get a real um, textured stitch a real cottage garden look there when you join lots together or you pile them on top of each other and those are French knots worked in groups. French knots might also just be tiny little accents to give you little buds as well. The next stitch that I'm going to show you is a bullion stitch, which is a sort of raised um, group of stitches that are all stacked on top of each other. And you will do this by going in where you want to start that line of stitches and then taking your thread down but you don't pull all the way through. You leave a loop and then you come back up from where you started, but you don't pull the needle all the way through. And then you're going to wrap the thread around the needle. So you'll need the longest needle out of your um, uh, embroidery sewing needle packet. And you're going to keep coiling the thread around the needle, not too tightly because then when you draw the thread up, all of those coils are, go are wrapped around your thread. You might need to just use your needle to arrange those, get 
them all in a straight line. Let's get the tension right. And take your thread to the back. So I've used that there for the bird's feet. Makes quite good claws. It makes, um, if you do a circle of them, um, starting in the centre, it makes a nice flower shape and it's it's got that raised texture. The next stitch is quite a 3D one as well. This one is um, got different names actually. It can be called a circle stitch or a spider's web or a rose design. So you need to make, first of all, five spikes. You need an odd number because you're going to weave around these spokes that you make. On this one, I'm using a full amount of threads. I'm not using a split yarns because I want it to be quite thick. And that's your foundation. So you should have five little spikes. And then you're going to use your yarn to go over one spike under the next spike keep turning your work over one spike under the next spoke and you're going to keep going under and over and if you keep pulling it quite tight you should get like a rose design of petals that are all coiling into the center It's a very raised stitch. You can see it here when you put a cluster of them together, they're sort of blossom. They're a rose shape, a ranunculus shape. These ones have got a tiny, tiny little French knot in the centre. But they do actually just stand up on their own as a little coiled blossom. And that can be called a circle stitch, a spider web stitch or a rose stitch. All the products that I've used are listed below. If you're an accomplished hand stitcher, then um, if you use the hashtag embroidery, you will find some um, free patterns run from different companies that we can feature on our website. Thank you very much for watching. Come back soon.